Osnegri improves again to a 139.555. Scott Dixon uh, goes through and improves to a 139.3, but cannot beat Osnegri, who has uh, gotten all the way down to a 139.194. So I think that's going to hold up. Is that the first time we've not had a Daytona prototype on the pole as well? Correct. That's the first time we've had a P2 car on Correct. the pole for a Daytona prototype era. Of, um, because we must remember that the Daytona 24 hours goes back 53 years. It's the first time a P2's been on pole. Uh, yeah. Exactly, yes. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Did you take this one? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, that I uh, have. <laughs> <laughs> the, the car was awesome all all weekend. Uh, we've been fast. Uh, I I knew the DP cars were gonna get closer to our to us and qualifying. I took every single bit of uh, what we had in the car. Uh, and uh, like I said, I couldn't have done it without, uh, you know, Mike Shank racing, Honda HPD, Continental Tire behind me, my engineers, my teammates supporting and uh, helping and uh, studying everything like we did. And, uh, you know, starting on pole is a good uh, bragging rights. Uh, what I really want is to finish, finish on the top spot. Uh, so we're going to work very hard for it. <laughs> 